What is going on everybody today guys we're here for another video today we're going to be doing another sequel guys this sequel is called the order 1886 guys I have played this before and beat it, it is an amazing game I must say guys it's only on PlayStation um, sad to say for all you other you know console or you know PC players you know but uh let's go ahead and uh, let me see Wake up, Fred. Hey. <coughs> giving up the ghost now. <coughs> Fancy enough, a rant. <coughs> Just choking the crap out of this man. Oh my god. Just let him drown in the water. It's just getting started. The game did come out in like 2015 or 2014, so the graphics are, you know, the graphics are based on that time period, so, like 2015, so. Come on, but it's, the graphics are good. Now. Setting is in uh, London, though, guys. Time for your morning bath, my lord. You can tell about the outfits and stuff, obviously, but. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>
crescent hill triangle. Okay. Honestly, I would've used my foot, to be honest. But I guess since he's like so weak and everything, because all the drowning and stuff like that. I should already know the time period. It's obviously 1886 on this game. Because, you know, the name of the game means order 1886. What made me want to buy it was the trailer for the game. And I was like, man, the trailer's pretty good, you know. And the game did come out like 2015, like I said. Um, But I do think it's like 2015. Yeah, it's like 2015. It might be older or younger. I do apologize for that. I don't know the exact date, but. What really, you know, made me want to buy it was the, uh, the trailer. this through, shall we? <laughs> You're him, aren't you? The convict everyone's talking about. There's only one way out of here. <laughs> Walking dead, that's what you are. Gotta wish you never left those catacombs. Such a mouth. Fair enough. Fair enough, it's your funeral, not mine. Move. He has a gun! He has a gun! 
Whoa, fellas, whoa! Yourself up, Monsieur. My next shot will not be a warning. Surrender yourself! Raise your hands, now! Raise your hands! Hands up! Gray! Don't do this! I said surrender! Hands on your head! You have betrayed our order! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! If it was me, I would have drowned, because I don't even know how to swim, so, yeah. <laughs> well, there's the intro. The order, he, that's the way to make an intro. <laughs> that's one way for the order. Galahad, come in. Galahad, acknowledge this is command. I read you, Percival. Enjoying a stroll in the park, are we? Nothing quite like a chilly London morning to stimulate the senses. Not to interrupt your little constitutional, but we have confirmation of multiple marks at Grosvenor Square. What are our directives? Rendezvous at the United India House with Igraine and Lafayette and contain the threat. Do you have it in sight? Her goal appears on top of the building. By the way, guys, the setting, um, not the setting. Right in front of me. It went back in time. Good. Just in case. Assess the situation once there so and this proceed is like, with caution. I don't know, it's Nicholas like a, some months back. Yes. SXM2 Falchion. Gun looks nice. Good. The Falchion secondary ordinance should help. Okay, sir, go ahead. We may be pursuing Bedlamites, but they remain civilians. Use non-lethal force whenever possible. Understood. Are you joining us? I have a small matter to attend to. I'll find you afterwards. En route now. Got that out. Assassin's Creed, really, how the uh, town is and how the setting of it is. Time error. Era, time error. I said error. paper. 
Joker. Serious appearances in White Chapel. What's he doing? Oh, he's cleaning. Reverse it. 20th of July, I think that's what it said. I'm on my way down to the street. Acknowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, we to jump <laughs> to <the courts. coughs> Negative. Oh, yes. He's probably off somewhere gallivanting. Being, well, himself. I know your concerns, but trust me, he's a good lad. Did you say so? In any case, I have no time to look for him. I'm assigning the last two constables to their posts. Ma'am, I'll suggest you and your husband stay inside and we see you. MCM sausage meat. Okay, and I just saw that. Galahad, see that you cordon off the entire district and do it quietly. How did you arrive here so quickly? Skill, love. I must admit, you do move fast for a man of your age. <laughs> Not cares to be reminded of his decrepitude by a fair damsel. My lord, this damsel would never be so callous as to do such a thing. Sure is he. Would you ever? <laughs> <laughs> Who are the marks? Bedlamites running amok. Percival thinks it could be a rebel subterfuge. Let's hope you haven't lost your edge. Remember who trained you? He was the best. In his day. Was. You're still pretty good. But I'm better. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Grain, come in. Acknowledge, Percival. Multiple escapees spotted at the east entrance of the United India Underground Station. Intercept with caution. Understood. Come on, Grey. Let's move. United India Square, Mayfair. What do you use to run again? It's like click and hold L three. I'm not quite sure I believe it. Now he wants to run. Now he wants to run. I literally just tried that the whole entire time to do it. I guess it's certain times to run or not. She's about to get out. Once we're inside, oh don't let anyone else through. Sure you don't need help, love. Do you mean a strong man to take control of things? That's right. Just stay out of our way. I'd hate for you to get shot by mistake. Trouble. The usual trigger-happy mercenaries. The United India Company prefers its minions enthusiastic. The last thing we need is a band of hired guns causing more havoc. I've told them to remain on lockdown. Go 
Scott, take cover. Take cover, so. Let's get to work. Some weapons. You two, get your asses over here. I need help. You arses. He, he, he didn't even say the word. He just said arses. Let's call you bloody bastards. The rifles would be more appropriate. Yeah, this is on here. It's not a bad. Thing. Take me down. Well, it is bad. I think I'm bad. Okay, you can use this. Our coming from the alley. <sighs> Shit. Yeah, this is like one of my favorite guns right here. Neutralized. It's on the stairs. Target down. Commotion inside. Hurry, more bedlamites inside. Just call you a minute, dude. Stun, take the shot. Is he? Are you alright? Damn it! God, they're slaughtering them. Ready? Just get rid of this scum. Smoke grenades. Okay. This is 
this guy Let's get up there. Got it. You need some ammo. Eight bullets left. Crap. I'll make all the count. This, oh, elevator. Oh, let me in. We should clear the second floor. Everything to your liking thus far? Quite. Just another ordinary London morning. Just that ordinary Indeed. London morning. Although I do hope that was only the beginning. Ladies first. Shoot a few of them rich folk, huh? Say no more. <laughs> <laughs> Just take your sweet time. Go ahead. Oh, I know that. It's like dead eye. Neutralized. You too. Sir. Downstairs. There are civilians who need your assistance. Yes, sir. Sir, General Raphael is in the next room. You're joking. Ah. Is there a single woman in this city you won't try to seduce? <laughs> There's your problem now. Do try not to lag behind. Do not lag behind. Lafayette. Ah, monsieur. Uh, this lady requires my attention. Marquis. Your attention is required elsewhere. I assure you, mademoiselle, that only the vow of fidelity prevents me from accepting your invitation. Well, Marquis, you mustn't leave now. Unfortunately, my lady, my duty compels me elsewhere. Oh, my God. Most fetching, was she not? I hadn't noticed. That is because you are not a Frenchman. You are the most American Frenchman I have ever known. I am a lover of liberty, mon ami. A proper knight must learn to curb his passions. Without passion, monsieur, a man cannot fight. We do not fight men, Marquis. Men, half-breeds, what does it matter? Vive la liberté!
He's the most American Frenchman I know. It's a Let's go. About time. Marquis, you and Lady Green take that entrance. I'll go through this one and sweep for any remaining escapees. We miss you. Sir. in the vicinity of Mesa. The Metropolitan Police has finished cordoning off the affected areas. Sentinels are continuing their overhead sweep. We will alert you to any sightings of the escape station. Acknowledge. I slew most of them. The last one got away. Hey, Grain, I need your up gun. I'll head up to street level and keep after him. You two go that way and head him off. Understood.
to press forward. Yes. Percival, we've neutralized the threat on our side. Good. I managed to capture one of the half-breeds. Rendezvous back at Regent. Acknowledge. Let's go. I'm <laughs> just pointing at it, really. <laughs> What should we do with him? Westminster to the catacombs. We'll deal with him later. Ah, Sir Percival. I thought the Order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights might be mixed up in this affray. We had reason to suspect a rebel incursion, Commissioner. An elementary conjecture. In that event, perhaps this might be of interest. White Chapel. Uh, purely circumstantial, of course. I call it evidence. Well, circumstantial evidence can be a tricky animal. My dear Sir Percival, you may think it is pointing at one thing, but shift your point of view slightly and you may find it pointing in an equally uncompromising manner at something entirely different. Please, indulge me with your musings, Commissioner. Well, first the rebellion, and then this Jack and the Ripper murders, mm -hmm. and then this. Strange, don't you think, that Whitechapel has become the epicenter of our recent conundrums? We must examine every clue now, you see? We meet in council two days hence. If you would do us the honor of presenting your findings. You can expect me at Westminster. Over here, sir. Do excuse me. Where have you been? Bloody London traffic. Mon général, what of the other half-breeds that escaped through Hyde Park? We must pursue them. No. Mais notre devoir est de les poursuivre, monsieur. Marquis. Nous ne chassons pas des Anglais sur le nouveau continent. Votre témérité sera requis à un moment important. Oui, mon général. I will be governed by your advice. I'm sure you will appreciate that for the time being, this must remain a police matter. Of course. Something's amiss. The underworld in Whitechapel is known to give safe harbor to the rebellion. It's precisely what troubles me. Why would so many half-breeds be found in Bedlam? Some things we need to find out for ourselves. You heard, Commissioner Doyle. It's a police investigation now. Knights do not relinquish their authority to bureaucrats. Percival is right. This matter should be brought before the Council. Huh. Centuries have passed. But our order has remained steadfast in its sacred mission to preserve the balance between man and half-breed. Such was the quest of our founder, King Arthur. May his name be forever resplendent. Is it true? Did the Lord Chancellor fight by Arthur's side? That is the legend. Today, that balance is threatened with grave upset by a new contagion, the rebellion. As long as its campaign of panic and terror is allowed to continue, the plague of lichen infestation that has infected our city will only grow more intolerable. Well, the Lord Chancellor will thus agree to the urgency of a mission into Whitechapel. Whitechapel is a matter for the civil authorities. When the noble Arthur sought to contest for truage with the Roman Emperor Lucius, he did not trouble himself with issues of jurisdiction. Do not presume to quote history to me, Sir Percival. I've seen more of history than you shall ever know. I remind the knights here assembled that the threat to this order comes not only from without, but within. We must stand vigilant together lest our ranks be poisoned by those who seek the destruction of all we hold sacred. No one is immune from the rebels' influence. 
Surely the Lord Chancellor does not mean to question Sir Percival's loyalty. This order has long appreciated Sir Percival's counsel. But the current disruption calls for caution and concerted effort, not rash action. Sir Percival has cause, Lord Chancellor. The situation in Whitechapel may need to be addressed. Does Lord Darwin speak with the blessing of the peers? Lord Hastings, Lord Dunglass. He does, Lord Chancellor. Perhaps the question should be put to the Council. Very well. What says the order of Her Majesty's Royal Knights in the matter of Whitechapel? Aye or nay? Nay! The nays have it. This council is dismissed. Our order grows too prudent, Grayson. We wither away from this inaction. Leave it, Sebastian. Caution be damned. Sir Percival is most agitated. You should learn it is best not to cross him when his mind is set on something. What do you make of this? Percival seems intent on pursuing this investigation. You cannot deny that there is some truth to what Percival has said. Need I remind you of your place, Lady Egwene? I just realized he has a knife on like the back of his. Oh crap, the camera's been. There you go. Like there's just like a, a huge knife. It's like a. Galahad will deal with this in due time. I have a more pressing matter to attend. As you wish. How many of us will make the journey to America? Oh, Lord Barrett, Lord Darwin, and myself. I've heard many great things about the Agamemnon, Lord Hastings. Oh, she is the finest the United India Company has ever built. I can promise you a pleasant and speedy journey across the Atlantic. Can we expect your presence at the launch? Sir Lucan. It would be my honor to see you off on your maiden voyage, my lords. Sir Lucan, if I may. Um, if you would permit me, my lords. Of course, Sir Percival. Alistair. You know, as well as I do, that Whitechapel is the key to these disturbances, to everything. My opinion is immaterial. The Council has spoken. Few dared countermand your father's express wishes. Need I remind you that we all serve at the Lord Chancellor's pleasure? You are the Knight Commander! Make him see reason. You think an incursion into a rebel stronghold is reasonable? I consider it an acceptable risk. One for which you'd be willing to accept full responsibility should unforeseen circumstances arise. Let what befalls be upon my head. No one else's. Whitechapel remains off limits. That is officially. You have my thanks, Sir Lucan. Of your thanks, I have no need. Bring me results. As the Knight Commander wishes. Well, we're going in. Most excellent. When do we move? You're not talking about Whitechapel. But my Your brother sought fit to permit us a reconnaissance. Secure the necessary materials. Isabeau, a word. Tell me, monsieur, about the Lord Chancellor. What is it, Marquis? Sir Lucan and Lady Egrain were adopted by him, yes? Yes, they were. Why would he bring them into such struggle? Perhaps he wanted to regain a semblance of the humanity he lost. When time came to join the Order, the choice was theirs to make. Regardless, oh, I will not so risk this life for my children. Them. Marquis, we need to hurry. Oui, mon général, avec plaisir. Monsieur. Friend Mallory has always been something of a rogue operative. I've never known a better man. Still, I shall rely on you to be a, call it a sobering influence. Sebastian and I have long been partners. I trust him with my life. A little restraint would not be ill-advised. Huh. Do look after my sister, won't you? No man in the realm can keep Isabeau from danger when she's of a mind. Oh, you say true. What's a brother to do, eh? Good luck and Godspeed. What's a brother to do? 
always at your service, Sir Gallagher. Huh. This way, please. Ah, Tesla. Now I'm gonna press the menu. What new developments do you have to show me? Quite a few intriguing things, if I may say so. Further news of the uh, trouble in Grosvenor Square. Police are investigating. And investigating. Lycans, on the United India Company's front doorstep, what do you make of it? Mayfair isn't what it used to be. Uh, permit me to oversee a few of my new experiments. Uh, in the meanwhile, take a look around, uh, play with whatever strikes or fancy, but do be careful. Tesla Laboratory, Kurgums of Westmaster. This is, by the way, Nikola Tes Tesla. If you guys don't know who that is, then look him up. <laughs> he played a big part in history. I also believe we ever use these communicators. Nicola, how fares your friend Edison these days? Thomas and I are not on speaking terms. May the great man learn your friend. The man Thomas. is an idiot. The man is an idiot. Gibberish to me. Oh, gibberish to me. Nicola. You sly dog. That's Sir Galahad. Please. This way. Okay. Here is something you may find interesting. This device allows you to convert between Edison's inefficient direct current and my superior alternating current. Quite handy for overloading and incapacitating certain electrical systems. It's comprised of an inverter, transformer, and rectifier outfitted with some brass clips to enhance the design. Oh, and a fine leather carrying case. Inside each tube is a small quantity of mercury. When the mercury is properly aligned, the device becomes operational. Please, try it. Oh, crap. It can be a bit difficult. Ah. You never cease to amaze, Nicola. I'd appreciate your expert opinion on my latest whimsy. Here. S684 Mountain Impressive. You've always had a good eye for craftsmanship. I've outfitted this one with a telescopic sight. It's ideal for long-range shooting. I would be honored if uh, you would test its efficacy. With pleasure. Nicely balanced.
Some muffling might be in order as well. I'll attend to it immediately. So, are there any other of my children that you would like to meet? The <laughs> office tempting, but I must return to the others. Of course. Oh, the monocular that uh, General Lafayette requested is over there on the table. I'll see that he gets it. Alrighty guys, I am going to end it right here. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and this is going to be a new sequel that I'm going to be making. And uh, if you are new and want to see more videos like these, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below guys. Peace guys and I hope you guys do have a good day. Better yet, a great day.